everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. As many of you guys probably know at this point, a little while back PetSmart released a new line of small animal products and I have a hair in my eye and oh my god. So PetSmart released a whole new line of small pet products and this line is called Tiny Tails and the stuff that they put out includes like some cages and some cage accessories and with the release of this new line I have seen quite a few people reviewing um, some of the products specifically the cages and I think that they're being reviewed for a very good reason I have not yet put one together myself or really even looked at one in person a whole lot I've just kind of seen videos on them I've seen the display ones in stores and whatnot but from what I can see they don't seem to be the best cages but how can I judge when I have not actually seen one in person or actually tried one out myself right I mean how could I possibly know that a cage is bad without checking it out myself how could I possibly tell just from a picture a picture how could I possibly tell just from a picture that a cage isn't a good cage so I guess I have to try it out myself right as I said before I've seen a couple other people do these review videos already um, but I think the more the better like the more people who are reviewing these cages and the more people who are bringing awareness to the fact that maybe these cages aren't really the greatest you know that's a good thing like the more the better so I decided I'm going to be reviewing one of these cages. So right here in this box, I have the Tiny Tails Playground cage. So this is going to be the cage that I will be putting together and testing out for myself. I am so excited. I can't wait. I chose this specific cage for a few reasons. The main reason I went ahead with this cage and not any of the other more extravagant cages that they have in their line is that I have a feeling that this cage is going to be the one that most people are purchasing when a kid or parents or whoever goes to a pet store and they're going to buy a cage for whatever pet they're getting. I have a feeling that this is going to be the one that they go to because it is actually the cheapest out of all of the cages and um, just a fairly standard cage. It's not like extravagant like some of the other ones. This is just a simple basic cage and it is the cheapest one in the line and I believe even the cheapest cage in all of PetSmart. So I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be buying this so I thought that it would be a good one to review and I've also not seen anyone else review this cage yet not saying no one has because um, maybe I just didn't see it but from the videos that I've seen no one has done this cage yet so I thought that this would be a good choice for those reasons so we're going to go ahead and review it now so I mean I guess I will just go right ahead and get this cage opened up looks like this is going to be the easiest place to open it from Is it stuck on here so hard? Oh my god. Okay, so that was some really strong glue. It took a little bit of struggle to get it off, but we got it off. Oh, apparently this cage already comes assembled, so guess I don't really have to do a ton of work. I was, I was completely expecting to have to put this cage together myself and kind of wanted to do that for the video, but apparently it's like fully assembled, so that's fun. Oh, I lied, it's, it's not fully assembled. It's just kind of partially fully assembled. Oh yeah, okay, I totally lied. It's not, it's not assembled. It just kind of looks like it is, but it's not. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it comes out of the box. Here we have a little instruction sheet. Oh, this here is the top. By the way, I would like to say that this plastic feels so cheap. I'm pretty sure on the box it says that it's for hamsters, mice, and gerbils. Hold on, let me double check that. Yeah, okay, so on the box it says ideal for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. If you have a big chewer, like I know specifically gerbils are really big chewers, this plastic is really thin. It's like cheap. It, it, something could very easily chew through this. Yeah, th that's the first thing I want to put out there is this is probably very easily chewed through, which is not a good thing to have. Anyways, there's the bottom piece, so now, or is that the bottom piece or the top? Oh, 
Okay, so here it looks like we have the accessories that it comes with. It has the water bottle, the wheel, the food dish, and a few other things that I'll check out later. And, oh, um, oh gosh, it's already coming apart. Ooh, this just, <laughs> this does not seem like it would be a secure cage at all. It feels just so flimsy. Okay, I think this is the top piece along with like the bars and stuff. So this just flops in there. It just sits in here, but this, okay. There we go. That was like fairly simple. Like everything just kind of snapped together. But I do have some things to say about this so far. As I mentioned before, it feels super cheap. Just listen to this. Like, the plastic just feels incredibly cheap. Like, there's nothing else I can say about that. It's just so cheap. Like, just feeling it, like, it feels like I'm playing with a plastic kid's toy, which is essentially what these are, like, made to be. Like, whoever, when they were making these cages, they did not have the animals in mind. They had the kids in mind. So they basically made plastic children's toys. So I just totally realized that in order to put the wheel in, I'm gonna have to take this cage apart again because the doors on this cage are too small to allow the wheel to fit inside of it. So before I go and put the wheel in the cage, we can talk about it for a second. So I believe that this here is a six inch wheel. So not big enough for Syrian hamsters, not really, not really big enough for anything they recommend it for because a Syrian hamster does need like a 10 inch wheel, a dwarf hamster needs a six and a half. Mice typically need, in my opinion, an eight inch wheel and I really don't know about gerbils. I have never owned gerbils or really done a lot of research on them, but I don't think this would be big enough for a gerbil. So anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and take this cage apart again so then we can put the wheel in. So when you put the wheel in the cage, I don't really know how well you can see this, it doesn't it really fit securely in one place, it just like bounces around on that, which will make a lot of noise when your animal tries to run on it. But anyways, we're gonna put this back together. That's that all put together, so here we have the... Gosh, this plastic clip is gonna be... Damn, I don't even know what to call it, it's just cheap again like that's all i can say about it everything about this is just so cheap so on the sides of this cage here and here there's two holes where you can um connect tunnels this cage in particular doesn't come with any tunnels so it gives you like the blockers and might i say these blockers are soft plastic like you can see here I can just bend it it's all soft plastic which basically means any animal could chew through it maybe within like an hour and there is little tiny holes in each one I don't know how well you can see it on camera but there's holes in the blockers and that allows the animals somewhere to grab their teeth onto and start chewing so i would not be surprised if you use these if you have your animals literally chew right through them and escape okay so there is two cage blockers and there's a hole on each side of the cage so i guess i will just go ahead and pop them in i feel like i'm gonna break this like literally trying to pop this in It won't go in, by the way. Just feel like I'm going to break the cage. Maybe if I do it from the inside? When you try to push the cage blocker, or like the hole blocker, into place, it does that. So that's really fun really really safe for animals okay there we go got the green one in place i'll go and pick up the blue one and see if we can try again so we're gonna try the blue one again okay so they're in but like i said before they're completely soft plastic which is super easy for an animal to chew through like it's just so easy for an animal to chew through soft plastic like this and two if you like push on them 
at all like it doesn't take much pressure at all they just pop right out mostly because they're flexible like if it were hard it would stay in place better but since they're flexible when you push it it just bends and the grip on them just completely lets go so you know probably not going to contain your animal very well so now i'll go ahead and put that back in because of how easily it popped out there we go um and here we also have a food dish so i'll just place the food dish in the cage and then i'm going to open up the water bottle and take a look at it this is the water bottle that comes with the cage and so strange why is it bent down the way that it is like when it's bent down like that in order for an animal to drink out of it they're going to have to tilt their head like straight up which is just i don't know it just seems like such a weird design for me and like it just seems awkward for animals so i am not a fan of this water bottle design it's i don't know it's just so strange so i'm just going to pop it into this thing which is a very hard fit um unscrew this i really don't understand how this water bottle goes in place wait <laughs> is it supposed to go like that okay i think it goes like that okay so i got the water bottle attached onto the back there and once again it just seems like such an awkward design like and the way that it clips onto the cage too is really kind of weird um i don't know it just it's just such a weird design altogether like the clip that they made for it is just i don't know everything about this is really weird this is what the cage looks like assembled um there is a crack in the very top of it i don't know if you can see that but there's a crack in the very top it came that way so that's super fun um super safe for animals to have plastic that just breaks super easily you know it's not like you want to keep your animal in the cage or anything and not have them escape but cracking plastic is totally fine as i mentioned before it seems so cheap and i'm sure it is it is really cheap poorly made cages aren't really the greatest things for animals because animals will figure out how to escape so my overall opinions on the cage itself is that the cage is just really cheaply made um it's already breaking i've literally had it for 20 minutes and it has a crack in the top these plastic little things here that are meant to block the holes they don't really do their job and they would be super easy to chew through. The water bottle is a really weird design. The wheel just slides around. If your animal is running on this, it is going to be shaking everywhere and making a ton of noise. The door is really sticky and the spring thing here is really poorly made. Like it just like, you know, it's not a good door. And then there's also this door on the top which pops out like that and again this is just a very cheaply made and the hole is really tiny like i can fit my arm in it but like it's a very tight fit and the last thing i have to say about the cage is that it is also incredibly small most of these cages are probably going to end up being used for hamsters and as many of you know the current minimum cage size for hamsters here in north america is 450 square inches and according to the box this cage is like 18 inches or not 18 it's like 16 inches by 10 inches so it's only like 160 square inches of floor space but anyways since this cage is marketed towards some small pets such as Syrian hamsters, dwarf hamsters, and mice, we're gonna we're gonna test it out. I just so happen to have Syrian hamsters, dwarf hamsters, and mice. I unfortunately do not have gerbils like this cage recommends it for, so can't test out a gerbil, but I can test out everything else. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we have Pumpkin, who's one of my Syrian hamsters. He's actually the smaller of the two, but we're gonna go ahead and let him, I, look, I can't even fit my door, or I can't even fit him on my hand through the door very easily. So that's always a good start when you can't fit your animal through the door. There you go, Pumpkin. Enjoy your new home. Wow, he has so much room to run around. Like. Can you imagine if he wanted to run? He literally couldn't. He looks like he's already very confused. Probably quite stressed out by the very small amount of space he has. Um, really can't, he's 
trying to go for the water bottle, but there's no water in it, so <laughs> sorry, pumpkin. Maybe you'll want to run on the wheel. So I don't know, as you can see, this cage is quite tiny for a Syrian hamster, even a small Syrian hamster like pumpkin. Now some of you may be thinking, oh, well, like, it's not made for Syrian hamsters, it's made for dwarves, so why don't we test that out? Why don't I go and get a dwarf hamster and see how he likes it? There, you must be so happy that you're finally out of there. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that for like one minute. So we now all know that this cage clearly isn't good for Syrian hamsters, but what about dwarf hamsters? What about Henry here? Would he live a nice good life in this cage? Let's find out. So, there he is. Even for Henry, who is a small hamster, he still doesn't have room in here to run around. And this cage doesn't even have like all the stuff that he would need. Like if I were actually setting this up as a hamster cage, he would also need a bigger wheel. He would need a hide, he would need some chew toys, and that would take up even more room in the cage and he would have even less room to run. So even though he can slightly walk in this cage, he, he can't run like a hamster should be able to do. I just, I really don't understand how anyone could look at something this size and think that it is okay. For a hamster, like, I know that some people just aren't educated, but even not being educated, just looking at it, it looks too small. So I, I don't know, I really don't get it, but there's Henry. So if anyone wants to argue that this cage is good for dwarfs, I am here to tell you it is not, and Henry is here to tell you that it is not. Look, he is already getting stressed out and he's already chewing on the bars of the cage, which is a big sign of stress in hamsters. If your hamster is chewing at the bars trying to get out, they are stressed. They need a bigger cage. And look at him. He's been in here for one minute and he's already going for it. So lastly, I went ahead and got one of my female mice. This is Blossom. And she's gonna go ahead and test out the cage for us as well because, I mean, it does say on the box that it is good for mice. You wanna go? You wanna go check out the cage? No, you'd rather climb up my arm because the cage is horribly small, I know. Oh my god. She's like scared to go in it. I'm gonna go try out the cage. Yeah, it's really awesome. So as someone who owns both mice and hamsters, I would honestly argue that mice are even more active than hamsters. And while many people don't think that mice need as big of a cage as hamsters do, I, I would argue that. I do think a good minimum for mice is also 450 square inches. So while it is argued that mice can live in a smaller cage than hamsters, I really, I cannot see this cage being suitable for any mouse at all. It does not provide them enough room to have all of the things they need to really thrive. From what I can see with Blossom being in here, she just seems to be more confused than anything. She, I don't know, she just seems very confused by where she is, so I just, I really couldn't imagine keeping any small animal in here long term really at all. The most I could imagine it for is literally like a travel cage and literally as far as I would go with something like this. So we're gonna take Blossom out now. We'll go put her back in her cage that she actually liked and we will come back and get our final thoughts. Although I'm sure you guys already know what I'm thinking. So now that we have tried out the cage with a few different animals, let's go ahead and talk about it, get some final thoughts and just see overall what I think about it. So overall my final thoughts is that this cage isn't suitable for really any living small animal um, for multiple reasons. The first one just being the sheer size of the cage. I personally think it's just inhumane to keep any small pet in a cage this small. It does not provide them with enough room to get proper exercise. It does not like provide them with enough room to be happy when they're in something this small they're just going to feel confined all the time they don't have room to move like it's just very claustrophobic <laughs> for them honestly and i could not imagine having something living in here some other things that put me off from the cage is just um how cheap it is like well i did say earlier i think that this could be used as a travel cage i honestly wouldn't even trust it like say if i was going on a road trip and for some reason I was bringing my hamster or whatever and I had my animal in this cage for a few hours in the car I would honestly not even trust this cage to contain them for that time as I mentioned before these hole blockers are soft plastic and they literally pop 
like they literally pop out so easily um, and if they don't pop out they're also very easy for your animals to chew and chew a hole through and other than that like the rest of the cage just feels really cheap like I honestly do not trust it to contain a small animal for a long period of time I honestly don't there's a crack in the top of the cage and I've had this for 20 minutes so I, I just, I can't trust this cage to be safe. I really can't. So as I mentioned before, the current minimum cage size for hamsters, which includes both Syrian and dwarfs, is 450 square inches of floor space. And this cage here measures around 160, so it is way too small. It would take a cage four times this size, really, to, to reach a suitable size. One of these is just far too small. It is so stressful for the animal, so please do not get these cages. So now that I'm telling you not to get this cage, it would probably be helpful of me to tell you some options that you do have. Um, this specific cage here was around $25, so it is not that expensive. It was fairly cheap, which I guess that could be tempting to some people, but like please do not put saving a bit of money above your animal's well-being there's really no excuse for it if you don't have the money for a proper size cage then you don't have the money for that animal and you shouldn't be owning it and not only is that just one thing i want to stress like if you can't afford a proper size cage you shouldn't be getting that animal animals are not a right they are a privilege and if you can't afford to give that animal proper living conditions please don't get it, wait until you can, or just, I don't know, just, just don't get an animal and make it suffer just because you can't spend the money on a proper cage. That animal did not ask for you as a donor, you decided and now they are suffering because you put them in a tiny, tiny cage that is cruel and it it's just so bad for them, please just don't do it. So on that note, some appropriate cages would be 40 gallon breeder fish tanks or larger. Those can be quite costly. So some of you might be wondering what a cheaper option is and I will say bin cages, bin cages, bin cages. You can get a 110 quart bin from like Walmart or Target or wherever for like 10 bucks and that can make a cage. I have a bin cage for my dwarf hamster and I have a bin cage for my mice and those large bins that I have were cheaper than this tiny little torture device. So there's really honestly no excuse. You can't say that you couldn't afford a bigger cage so you got this one because if you could afford this cage you could have afforded two bin cages. Oh so yeah I don't know suitable options would be glass aquariums 40 gallons or bigger 110 quart bin cages or bigger. You can get critter nations you can get IKEA detops you can do DIY cages you can build one yourself. There's just never an excuse to use this cage for your animal. With all of that said, I'm sure you guys can tell by now, but I do not like this cage and I will be returning it. So because I will be returning it, none of the money I spent on this is actually going towards supporting the company because I will be getting it right back tomorrow morning. But all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully maybe it helped educate some of you on why cages like these are not suitable for small animals. If this video changed just one person's mind and they decided to get a bigger cage for their animal, then this whole video was entirely worth it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this even though it's not really like a super enjoyable video. I just, I don't really know what else to say. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to Give this video a big thumbs up and also check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSM99, but it will be in the description below as well. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. So just for fun, I decided to go ahead and put this cage inside of Pumpkin's current cage to see the difference. And um, yeah, this is the difference. So this is how big this cage is in comparison to his actual cage that he lives in and obviously he does have a wheel too the wheel is right here i just took the wheel out because i had to place the cage in there but it's kind of funny because pumpkin's wheel is bigger than the cage like if if that doesn't show that this cage is a problem i don't know what will his wheel is literally bigger than the cage. That's an issue. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this cage out of 
his actual cage so I can give him his wheel back. Here you go, pumpkin. I'm sorry that you had to go in that cage for like one second. I couldn't even imagine. 